I've stepped back in time, at least that's what it feels like. I'm in the remote village of Craignish on the Isle of Man, dedicated to preserving the traditional crafts and skills that once characterized the Manx way of life. Yet keen as people are to treasure their historic roots, there are also vibrant modern day expressions of island culture. And this year, across its length and breadth, the Isle of Man is showing off its art, music and literature in a giant 2014 Island of Culture celebration. This week, we meet a farmer who's passionate about Manx poetry, an artist who expresses her faith through her paintings, and a student who's helping to save the environment by growing her own clothes. Belcher who does Manon, Ellie J Culture. This is Peel on the west coast. In Manx, Peel means port of the island, and the traditional industries here were shipbuilding and fishing. At one time, it was said you could cross Peel Harbor on the decks of the fishing boats waiting to set out to sea. And it was here that the first Christian missionaries came, led, legend has it, by St. Patrick. Behind me is the small island named after him where Peel's first cathedral was built. Its Victorian replacement is in the center of town, the Cathedral Isle of Man. And that's where we begin with our first hymn, Come to Us, Creative Spirit. The beauty of the thing when Tilda plays is the terrible, wonderful length the days is. Up your jumps and out in the sun and you fancy the day will never be done. John Kenyuk is a popular radio broadcaster on the Isle of Man with a particular passion for the work of its national poet T.E. Brown. Looking for eggs. In fact, John lives in the house where Brown spent his childhood holidays in the early 1800s. So here. We are then a picture of T. E. Brown himself in the hallway that he trod as a child. It is. That photograph once hung in every school in the Isle of Man. And when I look now, I can see the stairs that that boy would have climbed when he was oh, eight, nine or ten. Um, and the feeling that it gives me is indescribable. He managed to capture what so many people have such great difficulty in describing. There is this spirituality 
about the island, this, this thing that we can't describe, that Brown captured and set down in his poetry, and I think that's why I love it. The, the island has a soul of its own, perhaps? The island has, definitely has a soul. And in what we're, we're now into, our year of culture, that will mean different things to different people. But to me, we are displaying now to anybody who will look at us or watch us or hear us, we are displaying our soul, how we live, what's important to us, what we value. We're seven generations here in this particular area. We've become part of the landscape. I could have chosen any career um, at school, but the call of the land was so strong, and it still is. It, it lends to a rounded life, a life with purpose and direction, in partnership with, with the God who created it all. So you'd choose the same path again? Uh, uh, with, without a shadow of doubt, I could tell you of one particular day in the harvest, which I look back now, and I realize it was a defining moment in my life. The day we were cutting corn uh, in the mill field at Slewellian, with a tractor and a binder, waiting for the dew to lift and looking at the scene around us. And this field of golden corn in front of us, a stand of beech above that leading up to the farmyard, the green fields of the farm where the stock were all grazing, and then the stone mountain wall along the mountain of Slewellian, and above that, the purple heather, and the bluest September sky that you could imagine. And I knew that day, this is where I will spend my life. And I thank God that I've been able to do that.